In this demonstration, we're going to look at Active Directory discovery methods in Config Manager. So the important thing to note here is what we're doing with the Active Directory discovery is we're discovering records in Active Directory, whether they physically exist or not. So it is quite important that you do do regular maintenance on your Active Directory domain database. So what we've done here is we've come into our Configuration Manager console, we've come to the Administration workspace, and what we've done here is we're going to click on Discovery Methods. Then what we're going to do here is we're just going to double click on Active Directory System Discovery. And what we're going to do here is just ensure that this is specified as Enable Active Directory System Discovery. So what we can see here is we've got the distinguished name, we've got London Clients, London Servers, Sydney Clients, Sydney Servers, Toronto Clients, Toronto Servers. We're just going to specify new here for an Active Directory container. Just going to specify my browse button and what I want to do here is I just want to go for my Melbourne client and we'll select OK. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave the tick box on recursively search out of direct child containers so it means exactly that. What it will do is look at Melbourne clients plus all child containers as well. We've also got the option as well to discover objects within active directory groups and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the computer account of my site server. At this point here we'll just select OK. Then we look at our polling schedule. So what we can see here, it's going to occur every seven days, but as you can see, we can customize this and we will enable Delta Discovery, which will just look for changes past the initial discovery. And down at the bottom here, we're going to run that every five minutes. Then we have our directory attributes. So as you can see, we're going to search near enough everything. If we add these in, well, these are the ones that we're going to currently search for. And then on the options button here as well, what we can see is we've got the option here to only discover computers have logged on to the domain in a given period and we can specify 90 days or whatever you want to specify and we've also got as well only discover computers that have updated their computer account password in a given period of time as well so this should help us ensure that we don't discover stale records if we turn those options on so what we're going to do at this point here is select ok now we've done that what we've done is we've just modified our active directory system discovery as you can see, we can discover groups, system, users. We've also as well got the Active Directory Forest Discovery as well, which actually looks for Active Directory sites and subnets. However, now we've modified the system discovery. We don't want to wait the seven days. What we'll do is we'll run a full discovery now. Do we want to run it as soon as possible? Yes, please. And what we'll do is we'll leave that to run. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just pause the demonstration video and return back in a few minutes. Another method we've got as well is Active Directory User Discovery. So what we'll do here is we'll just go for the Active Directory User Discovery and double click it. And what we've got here under the general page, we've got Enable Active Directory User Discovery. And we're specifying at this point here the IT Organizational Unit and also the Users Organizational Unit. So what we'll do here is we'll just select our new button. Now our new button here, we'll just browse through. And what we'll do for the container here, we'll actually go for the Active Directory Domain. We're going to do a full user discovery. We will recursively search out of directory child containers as well. We'll select the OK button. And what we'll do is go for our polling schedule. So on our polling schedule, what we've got here is our full discovery occurs every seven days. So what we'll do here is we'll just click on our schedule button. And what we'll do here is we'll make this occur every, let's make this three days. And we'll select OK. We leave the Delta Discovery to look for the changes and we'll leave that as running every five minutes. Have a look at the Active Directory Attributes. This is what we're going to discover, but yet again, we can add additional information as well. We're not going to bother at this point. We'll just select OK. And then what we'll do is we'll right click and what we're going to do at this point here is we'll run a full discovery now. And again, we'll select Yes. And again, what we'll do is we'll just leave this running for a few minutes and return back after a few minutes. Now we've done these discoveries, let's just verify that the information has actually been discovered. So what we'll do here is we'll come to Assets and Compliance. What we'll do is we'll select Users. And if we have a look down here, we've now got a datum. So which is the domain we specified. So as you can see, quite a few users in there that have been discovered as part of the Active Directory Discovery. And we'll also have a look at Devices as well. And within Devices, we've discovered as you can see, some Sydney information, some Toronto information, some London information, the Melbourne 
organization unit didn't have any objects in it so there's no information relating to anything within there but as we can see the discovery has indeed worked we have now populated the database we have information set in our assets and compliance tab and that's the end of this demonstration of active direct discovery methods thank you